Hey friends, happy Saturday. So I threw a little vote poll um, out in the group yesterday about just the new products and what you guys wanted to see. And so overwhelmingly, this, the stand mixer um, was the vote. And so I will be showing you that, but thankfully Angie, thank you, said one thing. <laughs> that I had left on my stove top um, to show you guys before I put it away. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one first uh, before we dive into the deluxe stand mixer. So this here, hi Karen, um, is the cast iron grill pan. So we used this last night for burgers. So, and you guys also know I'm much, much a minimalist um, where I can be. And so this is, um, I wanted to try this. This is going to replace some bigger appliances actually in my kitchen, which I'm super excited about. Um, but so this is the 12 inch. If you've not used our traditional cast iron, it is black. Um, it is stove top safe. It is oven safe. It is grill safe. It is open fire safe. Um, so you can use this anywhere. Um, but the we have a 12 inch uh, with a flat bottom, but here is the difference, right? It's got those grill marks, um, so you can uh, make burgers, um, chicken, fish paninis, um, what else? I'm really looking forward to using this on the outside grill to do things like asparagus and zucchini. Um, you know, even peppers would be really awesome on here as well. So a lot of options. Um, we used it last night for burgers. Um, I use this burger press. So this is the size essentially of the burgers um, and it fits four. Um, and then this is sold separately. This is a burger press um, or a press, it doesn't have to be just burger press, um, but this fits, um, it's like a puzzle, fits right in the middle of there. So when I cook with this, I actually warm the pan with the press inside, so both are warm, um, and then put food here. So I did last night burgers, four burgers, and then this sets on top. This is also cast iron, it's heavy, um, so it holds your food down, uh, but because that's also hot, kind of helps to um, shorten your cooking time um, and I also think it helps with there's not as much especially when you're doing burgers right there's not as much grease flying around um, so that's a really awesome option um, just kind of keeps everything nice and clean um, as far as cleanup so it does come with this little guy um, so smart right um, that goes right around the edge and then the, um, this fits right in the groove. So uh, like other cast iron, so this I just washed with water. Um, I use a tiny bit of soap just to get some of that extra burger stuff off. Um, and then this, you can see I it's, it's a little shiny because I took olive oil uh, and then I just took a paper towel and just kind of rubbed in between the grooves. So this is the, the cast iron uh, grill skillet. I love it. I think you, if you are a cast iron user, this is a great um, add to your collection. Um, again, this is sold separately, but I'm loving this and I'm looking forward to trying some um, paninis. Um, I will drop a bunch of pictures of like burgers and uh, chicken and things that I have done in here. Um, so one thing on the February menu, there was actually a burger recipe and that was by design because I wanted to try the pan. Um, so I doubled up the recipe. We had half one night and I froze the other half and then last night we had them and we just took them um, from frozen, cooked them here and they turned out awesome. Um, they've got the lines in so it looks like it's a restaurant. <laughs> okay so because I'm um, always feel like I'm I don't want to say I'm a scatterbrain, but some might describe me that way. Um, I just am always juggling a lot of things. These are um, little silicone holders. I love these for my cast iron because I forget that they're super hot um, and, and then I can grab them here. But one thing I really like this for is I actually just leave it on here. Um, there's, I don't need to move the pan off my stovetop while it's hot, but I leave that on there. This does not get hot, but then when I lift this to flip uh, burgers or meat, I do not um, forget that it is hot and I would burn myself badly. Um, so that is a nice little sold separately, but it's super handy if you're not looking to burn, um, you know, your entire hand. And then the other thing, this is the 
it's a spatula tong. And if you've got any of our other tongs, you know these are awesome. They last forever. It's got the exact same, you know, just tip and unlock mechanism that our other ones do. So you can do it one handed, which I really like. Uh, but this is great for use with this pan. Um, I will probably try this on the outside grill in the summer, um, but right, it just kind of grabs tongs, um, but they're just bigger, so you can grab bigger pieces um, of meat, uh, burgers, or you know, if you're doing even things like vegetables, just a lot more. So this is the, um, I showed you guys a cup slicer the other day. This, um, this is the other item that is on that special back order already. It's literally flying off the shelves, so. Um, if you are a user of the Pampered Chef tongs, you know why. They're awesome. Um, and then this one just adds lots more flexibility. Even if think like, you know, foods on stoneware, um, you know, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, that kind of thing. Um, you can just easily scoop up quite a bit more um, without squeezing them so tight with the traditional tongs. So... That's your Saturday episode of new products. Um, I will be jumping back in with the, the mixer, um, but to be completely transparent, I haven't even opened mine yet, um, but this will give me good reason to do that and to test it out. Um, I've been annoying some of my team that do have it, um, that also have a kitchen aid, because that's been my biggest question is just kind of how does it line up to that. Uh, I've had a kitchen aid for years, um, and so I've got some really great feedback on that, but I will save that for the next time because otherwise um, you guys will get nothing else done because you're just listening to me chat. So let me know what you think about this grow pan. Um, I am. This is going to help me to remove some other stuff from my kitchen I don't need. Um, it does stack nicely underneath my cast irons as well. Um, so just, you know, a stack um, of them. So I'm loving it. But I want to hear what you think. So let me know. Would you use it? Do you like cast iron? Do not. Do you want more information on why you could or should cook with cast iron? Um, it's it's an, a good thing to explore. But And I'm here to help. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody.